Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists hate people that like you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcissistforthecoaching at gmail.com. Narcissists hate people that like you. Narcissists hate people in general, but they believe that everyone is meant to serve them. They are pathologically envious and jealous. If they see someone complimenting you or talking to you, this could cause a narcissistic injury. In the narcissist's mind, if you are complimenting someone or they are complimenting you and you are expressing that you like each other, you are both enemies of the narcissist. In their minds, you are against them because you are engaged in something that is unfavorable to them. Narcissists have two sides to them. One side feels that they are worthless and insignificant, so they created the false self who is arrogant and entitled. When the narcissist witnesses you complimenting someone or receiving a compliment, it destroys their delusions of being the most likable or desirable person. It forces them to reflect on their shame and face reality, which may cause a narcissistic injury and narcissistic rage. The narcissist will then attack you, whether overtly or passive-aggressively, as a defense mechanism and to maintain their belief or impression, despite being contradicted by reality. In the narcissist's mind, you have tricked or manipulated that person into giving you that compliment or expressing that they like you. The narcissist believes that you are unworthy or undeserving of any respect or positive attention but this is their false self. Deep down they know and understand that you are worthy and deserving of respect and positive attention. They deny it and treat you with contempt because they are envious of you and they are jealous of anyone who might take you away from them. Narcissists are so pathologically envious and jealous of you and people that might like you that they will even create smear campaigns and enforce fly monkeys to prevent any possibilities or opportunities of someone liking you. They are so pathologically envious and jealous that it becomes a lifestyle for them to prevent any potential interactions that you may experience with people who do like you. But when you start communicating with people outside of the narcissist environment, people who are not involved in the smear campaign or fly monkeys, and they compliment you on your appearance or your qualities, talents and traits. That really winds them up. They spend all of their time trying to target your self-esteem and make you believe that you are this unattractive, incapable person when really they have just created a false reality and a false narrative which is opposed to the truth. And not just the truth of other people, but also what they believe to be true. Because the narcissist already knows that you are an attractive person with many good qualities, talents and traits. The game is to make you believe you're not good enough for them, when they know that they're not good enough for you. They spend all of their time trying to fool you into accepting their alternate reality, but when you start interacting with someone from the real world, it reminds you of who you really are, who you always were, but you were blinded by the narcissist's false narrative. When you interact with someone outside of their alternate reality or fake world, and they compliment you or tell you they like you, it really winds them up. Because they spent so much time targeting your self-esteem and trying to make you believe that you're not good enough or you're not good looking enough. They even enforced fly monkeys and created a smear campaign just to get you to believe that. 
and then someone comes along and reminds you who you really are and just destroys all of their hard work. The last thing they want to see is you receiving any form of positive attention or compliments from someone else. They are pathologically envious and jealous. It kills them inside. Usually what people will compliment you on outside of their world is things that the narcissist is already fully aware of. And they have been trying to play down those qualities, talents and traits. Making you believe that they don't exist or they're not as good as you think they are. They went through all of the effort to do that because they're extremely envious of what you possess. That's why they have to treat you with contempt as though you are worthless or beneath their consideration. And they will get all of the fly monkeys to treat you the exact same way because they're just as envious and jealous as a narcissist. They bond over their envy and jealousy towards you. They bond over treating you with contempt and plotting your destruction because they all feel the exact same way about you. They can't stand it when they see someone giving you positive attention or a compliment. The worst part is when they see you reacting to it and you're smiling or they can see that it's giving you satisfaction. They don't want to see you smiling or being happy. They want to see you being miserable like they are. And they will do whatever it takes to separate you from that person. Devalue you to them or devalue them to you. They just don't want to see you around anyone who likes you or sees you in a positive light because they are pathologically envious and jealous. They will even create orchestrations which give them the ability to project their emotions onto you. This could be an orchestration where they might get you to witness someone complimenting them or witness them complimenting someone else. This is designed to get you to feel the way that they feel. Narcissists don't self-reflect or look within. They don't acknowledge or try to resolve the emotions that they feel. Instead, they choose to project their emotions onto someone else so they can express them. It temporarily relieves them of their pain or emotional distress. So they will try to create orchestrations which give them the ability to project their emotions onto you. But as I've said in a previous video, if you want to know what the narcissist is envious or jealous of, pay attention to what they are displaying to you. They will express it at some point. They can only hold these emotions in for a certain amount of time. They already believe that you are better than them or above them. They've done everything they can to destroy that true reality and create their own world. A world where you are not good enough, worthless, or beneath their consideration. A world where all of their fly monkeys see you the exact same way. The last thing they want is for someone to come along to remind you and remind them that you are so much more than they have led you to believe. They want to keep you in a state where you are constantly doubting your abilities or questioning your appearance. Because deep down they know the truth that you are an attractive, capable person with many good qualities, talents and traits. But they want to create this fake world where none of that is true and everyone has to go by their false narrative of how they want to, you to be perceived.
They might test the effectiveness of their programming by randomly complimenting you or getting someone else to compliment you just to see how you react to it. If you react to it as though you don't really believe it and you don't feel worthy or deserving of that compliment, they will be satisfied. They will believe that their programming is working on you. It's all designed to target your self-esteem and make you believe that you're worthless and insignificant. It's to prevent any potential narcissistic injuries and regulate their pathological envy and jealousy. If they see you responding positively to a compliment as though you believe what they're telling you, they will recognize that their programming is not working. It will cause a narcissistic injury and possibly narcissistic rage. They will try to keep you away from anyone who might remind you of who you really are. Anyone who might compliment you or give you positive attention because they don't want you to know how great you are. They want you to accept their dictations and allow them to define you so they can control you and keep you in a box. By the end of the day, they will probably give you put downs or backhanded compliments or use gaslighting or projection. Whatever it takes to get you to start doubting yourself, your appearance or your abilities. They do not want you to believe that you are an attractive person or a capable person because then that makes it very difficult for them to control you. It makes it very difficult for them to keep you in the box. If they can make you believe that you are unattractive, you're not going to have the confidence to develop new relationships or social circles. If they can make you believe that you are incapable, you're not going to bother applying for new jobs or starting a new hobby or interest. It's all designed to control you and keep you in the box. It's designed to isolate you so they can keep you all to themselves and you will believe that that's all you're worthy or deserving of. They want to make you believe that you do not deserve any better than them. You do not deserve to be treated any different than how they treat you. When the reality is very different because you are actually an attractive capable person. They just don't want you to know that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for all my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsweathercoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up through our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narc Survivor merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.